And welcome back to Anton Math. Now in this video we're going to be talking about something that's very closely related to the components of u along v that we talked about in the last video and that is the projection of u onto v. So we have these vectors u and v. So the projection of u onto v which we denote as this proj with this kind of subscript v evaluated for u. So this means the projection of u with reference to the vector v is the vector parallel to v with length equal to the component of u along v. So let's take a look at what this looks like. What we're saying is if we have these two vectors that share an initial point or that we draw with a common initial point, let's call this my v, we'll say this is my u, the projection of u onto v is the vector in the direction of v with length equal to the component of u. So this vector right here is the projection of u onto v. Now to calculate this projection, note that the projection of u along v this is equal to the component of u along v times the unit vector in the direction of v. So let's document that. Remember we know that the component of u along v we can calculate with the dot product u dot v divided by the magnitude of the vector v. We saw this in that last video. Now we need to multiply this now. This is just a scalar. This is going to give us the component of u along v or the magnitude of the projection. Now to make this a vector instead of just a scalar we need to multiply it by a unit vector in the direction of v. So we're going to multiply it by the vector v divided by the magnitude of v. This right here gives us a unit vector. The magnitude of this vector now is 1 but the direction is still v. So what we're doing is we're taking the vector v, we're multiplying it by a scalar which does not change the direction, but the scalar we're multiplying it by brings the magnitude down to 1. Okay, so this is our unit vector. So all said and done we have this equation for a projection u dot v all over the magnitude of v squared times the vector v. So everything in this parenthesis gives us just a scalar and we multiply that scalar through the vector v. Now before we do an example something to note if the vector u is resolved into u1 and u2 now what resolved means is broken down into a sum of two vectors where u1 is parallel to v and u2 is orthogonal to v then u1 is the projection of u onto v and u2 is the difference between u and u1 or between u and the projection. So let me write that here. This projection I can call this the vector u1 and if I call this vector up here going from the terminal point of u1 to the terminal point of u, u2 then we get that u is equal to the sum of u1 plus u2. So if we resolve it in this way, then u1 is the projection, u2 is the orthogonal vector with respect to v that adding to u1 gives us u. So let's see an example of what we might see here. Let's say we're asked to calculate the projection of u onto v and resolve u into u1 and u2 given that u is negative 2, 4 and v is 1, 1. So let's go ahead and do part A first. I want to calculate the projection of u onto v. Well by our formula above that's going to be the dot product u dot v divided by the magnitude of v squared all times the vector v. Okay. So let's start plugging in u dot v is negative 2 times 1 plus now my vertical components 4 times 1 
This is all over. Now the magnitude of v squared just means that instead of having a square root, I'm just looking at 1 squared plus 1 squared, aren't I? The magnitude of v is the square root of this, but because we're looking at magnitude of v squared, the square root cancels out with that squared. And then I need to dot this with, or I need to multiply this through the vector v, not dot, just uh, multiply through with scalar multiplication. My scalar becomes 4 plus 1, which is 2, over 2. So I have 2 over 2 v, or simply v. So here, the projection of u onto v is actually going to be v. We have a picture that looks something like this, where this is my v and this is my u. So the projection of u onto v is just v itself, isn't it? Now for part b, we already have u1, where u1 is the projection, so u1 here is going to be 1, 1. To find u2, u2 is going to be the vector u minus the vector u1, because we know that u1 plus u2 is equal to u. So here's my u2 vector here. So u2 is just u, which is negative 2, 4, minus u1, which we found to be 1, 1. So we're going to get that u2 is negative 3, uh, negative 3, 3. 2 minus 1, 4 minus 1. All right. And we're done. All right, now that's projections. Now, I don't focus too much on this in my class. Really, uh, the next video is where we have our focus, and that's calculating work done. And work, we don't actually need projections. We're going to see we're going to be using the dot product, and we're going to be using components to get to that um, dot product. So we'll see you in the next video.